Okay, you one today, you are going to write a recount of Father's Day on Sunday. When we write a recount, we talk about who, what, where, when and why. So we always plan. So I'm going to write down here a couple of little notes. You can draw them if you like, remember, just to get your ideas so that we can get our recount. I know that looks a bit small, but if you can't read it, you can zoom in. Who, what, where, when, why? Who was I with on Father's Day? You might not have been able to celebrate in person with everyone, but I'm hoping that Dad was there, so perhaps Dad was there. Um, you were there. You might have other family members. It depends who was there on the day. Um, what were you doing? That's up to you. Let's say for this example, you were um, playing games and you were eating cake. Now, Miss O'Dempsey has just written games and cake. I don't need to write a sentence, it's just planning. You could draw a picture as well. You could draw a picture of a game board and a cake if that's easier than writing. Where were you? Due to COVID, I can't imagine you would have gone too far. Perhaps you were at home. Maybe you went to the park or outside in your garden, something like that, just a couple of words. Um, you might have even had somebody joining you on the screen, maybe Nan and Pa were visiting you and joining in via Zoom or Facebook. When? It was on Sunday. Father's Day was on Sunday. You don't have to put more than that. And why? Well, I read a lot of your drafts from last week. It's because you love your dad. You love your pa. You love your uncle. You love who you were celebrating with. So it was to celebrate, it's a big word for you one, to celebrate um, Father's Day. That's not a story. What that is, is a bit of a notes. It's to give us a bit of a chance to write. So over here, I'm going to have to pretend that my page is now over here, and we can use this to write our recount. You don't need to watch this. This is only for the students who are on site today or if you've forgotten what recounts are. Now, words like next, then, finally, these were words we were talking about when we were writing recounts in the classroom. So I'm going to start off by thinking about, hmm, okay, when. So I might start off on Sunday, who, who was there? So I'm looking back at my notes. Dad and I, now I'm not saying mum wasn't there, but in this particular example, maybe mum wasn't, maybe she was somewhere else having a rest or something, or visiting, I don't know, maybe she was, anyway, she wasn't here in this one. On Sunday, Dad and I, played games, Where were we? At home. So already I've got a sentence there. There's my, my full stop and my capital letter. I've told you when and who and what. That's all I did. It says here cake. So what about if we use one of these words? Next, we ate some cake. Now we better put down why. Were we eating cake for a birthday? Was it a birthday um, celebration from last week? It was Father's Day, okay? So I might put something like, next we ate some cake for my dad on Father's Day. Okay, now this has a capital letter because it's the name of something. It's even got a little fancy apostrophe there, but I'm sure Mum and Dad can explain that to you a bit later. Always pays to go back and reread it. What have I seen so far on my page? On Sunday, Dad and I played games at home. Next, we ate some cake for my dad on Father's Day. So I've talked about who and what and where, and I've really kind of explained everything there. If I wanted to, just to finish it off, I could use this word. Finally, we um, had presents to open and a cuddle because who doesn't want to give their dad a cuddle on Father's Day? So this is a recount, isn't it? Because I've talked about what I did and I know who and I know what and I know where we were, we're at home and I know that it was on Sunday, 
and I've explained it as far as day. You can write more than that in one. You can write um, a bit less than that. The main thing is you've planned what you wanted to say first and then you've got it. Now, if you want to go back and make changes, you can. You can add some, um, I could add an interesting word here. What kind of games did Miss Nancy play with her dad? Did I play exciting games or fun games? What kind of cake was it, Miss O'Dem? So you haven't even explained what flavour it was. So here we could put in our little carrots to show describing words. What kind of presents? Were they big, large, small, interesting, smelly, um, pointy? Okay. And what kind of cuddle? Was it a lovely, gentle cuddle? Was it a wrestly cuddle? So you can go back and add some join, I said not join words, Miss O'Dem, some describing words, some adjectives, some wow words. Remember, once you plan a story, it's always good to go back and read it again and see if you can add it. So this is your recipe for writing your recount today. You will need to hand it in to Miss Haynes or Miss O'Dempsey, so please make sure you upload the draft. doesn't matter if it's full of mistakes. We can't wait to read them. Thank you for listening.